The original data for conventional chemoembolization came back out in early 2000s um, by two studies that everybody knows, and uh, they showed that doing chemoembolization prolonged life and time to progression. So that in itself has been what has become st the reason it's become standard of care. And while I read in some literature now that saying that, hey, we don't have randomized trials showing that this actually benefits somebody who's awaiting transplant, the reason for that is that that's never going to exist. We already had a randomized trial for people who were not were either awaiting transplant or not even have an option as transplant for for transplant. So, given that it was established as a randomized trial showing that they live longer that became established and it would be hard to tell somebody awaiting transplant, hey, we want to put you in a study where you're not going to get the standard of care. So uh, that's the big study. Newer studies um, kind of superseding the um, regional therapy as standard of care haven't really been um, done for the transplant group because they're still waiting for transplant and patients and uh, not patients, the physicians and hospitals are very careful to treat these patients carefully to keep them um, in the transplant pool again. Studies that have shown, for instance, that if you do radioembolization compared to conventional chemoembolization, you have a much better chance of downstaging a patient to hopefully get them to a resection, at, or I'm sorry, to a transplant at some point. Somebody who wasn't a transplant candidate becoming a transplant candidate. External beam radiation has also shown a lot of promise. Um, it still needs to be further worked out because there uh, are not really randomized trials, but I'm really hopeful. We certainly are sending patients that are not candidates for our treatment options to work with a radiation therapist to work together to give better results. And there actually has been a study that's shown that if you combine chemoembolization with external beam radiation, the recurrence rate or progression-free survival is much better when you combine the two techniques.